name is Eben Hubert. I come from Pretoria in South Africa. In 2007, I was invited to go play in a ten tennis side tournament in Malaysia. And it was an invitational side. And our coaches was two old All Blacks, uh, Duncan Robertson and Jeff Madison. that played for the All Blacks in the 70s and for Otago at the same time as well. And they, they mentioned the idea of me playing rugby in New Zealand and asked me about it. And that was the first time I actually considered coming to New Zealand. And um, the whole process started there. I got in contact with Bruce Carvel and Jack Meader from the Harbour Club down in Dunedin. And um, from the end of 2007 until the beginning of 2008, we were in communication. And in 2008, I decided to, to quit my job in South Africa and make the move to come down to New Zealand to follow, follow my passion for rugby. I don't have any regrets about that decision. I think it's one of the best decisions I've, I've ever made in my life. My biggest obstacle in South Africa has always been traditionally my size. Whereas the South African philosophy of rugby doesn't always include smaller players of a diminutive stature. So that's why I learned my rugby so I learned to play quite an abrasive game because a small guy had to, had to play a physical kind of game. My hopes for the near future is definitely the success of Otago for this season, for 2012. The, the union has gone through quite a, quite a difficult time and quite a, quite a challenging time, but I feel such a, such a immense sense of loyalty and, and thankfulness for everything Otago has given me that I feel that I really want to give back. I want to give everything I have for the union. And most of the players we have here this year want to do the same. We're all grateful to be here. We're grateful to be part of the competition. And for the near future, my hopes first is to have a good season for Otago, to get the boys together for all, all of us to play well and just to, just to put the team and the union in the area first and the results will look after itself. So I think the, the, the most important thing is just to have a successful season for Otago. The, the honour of captaining the Otago rugby team is um, without a doubt the highest honour I've ever had. Whether it be one game, whether it be a hundred games, just the opportunity I have to be part of a, of a union with a history and the pride and the passion that Otago has is, is the greatest honour and the most humbling experience of my life. Well, being in New Zealand from 2008 onwards, it's almost five years now. And um, I'm finding my, that my loyalties, especially my rugby loyalties, are firmly set in, in the south of New Zealand. My loyalty is obviously with Otago. What I miss most about South Africa is my family. If it wasn't for my family, I think I would have easily lived here without giving me two thoughts. Mm -hmm. But number one, my family, and I think number two, to kind of justify that statement, I am African as well. I've got Africa in my blood. I've got a long history. My family has been in Africa for over 300 years and I've got a deep, deep connection to the place. I absolutely love the country. I'm very positive about South Africa. I'm positive about the future of South Africa and I'm, I'm, hope, I'm hopeful that I can contribute to the, to the future of South Africa in some way one day as well. My favourite thing about Otago is the people. I arrived in 2008 and didn't know anyone, but I was accepted with open arms by everyone I met. Everyone was friendly. The homeliness, the, the southern hospitality is not just a story or a myth that people talk about. It's, an, it's, a, it's a reality and um, it's something that really helped me to settle in Otago. And without that, I doubt that I would have been able to stay here for that long so easily. So that's, that's the one thing, and it really, really gets under your skin, and I see myself as a southern man. I might not have been born here, but I've been formed here.